here is the problem statement of our project manual sorting takes a long time when working with a large number of objects the efficiency and precision will suffer as a result this project is proposed to separate this object from a set according to their color designing and implementation of synchronized robotic arm which is used to perform all the basic activities like picking up objects and placing them the next slide shows the objectives of our projects if we sort manually our accuracy will be less so we want to increase accuracy of sorting by implementing our project this project will be helpful in agricultural sector industrial sector pharmaceutical sector etc however it will cost one time but the by the time being it will be economical for us because it reduces human effort labor and cost it also beneficial for the vast production due to its mechanized sorting in our project four micro servo motors are used in the construction of the arm micro servo motor is a tiny and lightweight motor with high output power servo can rotate step wise precisely the arm of the robot is constructed using pvc foam sheet the arm is consist of four parts two parts for holding the servos and two parts for length ex extension and interconnections an object picking wrist which is controlled by a servo is attached at the tip of the arm we used matlab support package for arduino hardware and jumper wires to connect at the connect the arduino with the servo motors in robotic arm to take real time shot we used our smartphone camera with a stand this is our robotic arm structure the robotic arm is controlled using servo motors whose degree of rotation is controlled by the on timer of the pulse rail appearing at its control input according to the structure by the robotic arm various degree of rotation for the servo motor are assigned to carry out the operations we have used four servo motor in our robotic arm first servo motor is at the base second servo motor is at the shoulder third servo motor is at the elbow and fourth servo motor is at the wrist here theta 1 is the degree of rotation of base and pole theta 2 is the degree of rotation of shoulder theta 3 is the degree of rotation of the elbow and theta 4 is the rotation of the wrist here a1 is the length from base to shoulder a2 is the length of shoulder to elbow a3 is the length of elbow to wrist now we will see the wire connections we have used a matlab support packages for arduino hardware then we used jumper wires to connect the arduino with the servo motors now i will demonstrate the flowchart of our project first we initialize our code it will activate the real time camera then the camera will start to sense object two things can happen either there is an object or not if there is no object it will go to its previous block but if there is object it will instantly take a snapshot and start to differentiate the color according to color it will detect the object then it will calculate rotation of angle of servos after that it will pick the object and put it in the required box finally it will go to its initial position and activate the real time camera now i will demonstrate the coding part of this project we used a matlab support packages for arduino hardware for this project first to initialize the position of the uh, red green and blue color objects to zero our camera is over a whiteboard where a, a view of 20 cm length area and the uh, camera resolution is 640 by 480 pixels. So uh, we calculate the length in cm per pixel. We input the real time video of the camera to the MATLAB. Then we define the size of the arms of our robotic arm according to the sequence. We then define the Arduino Uno hardware to this program and defined all the four servos that connected to the Arduino as per their pin number. Then we set the initial rotation of the servos to hold our robotic arm in its initial position. We took a snapshot or a frame from the input real time camera. Then we took the three channels named red, green and blue of this image to uh, three different parameters. Then for uh, red object detection we filter out the blue and uh, green channel parameters from the red channel. Thus by uh, using the same technique we detected all the blocks of different colors. Uh, then we calculate the uh, summation of the pixel values through uh, row wise and column wise to detect in which pixel position of the uh, row and column the pixel values are much higher than the other positions. Uh, this is the position where our objects are uh, situated uh, then we converted the pixel position to the length in centimeter after that we did some uh, geometric calculation to find the uh, required rotation of the servos of our robotic arm to take the detected objects we then set the rotation of the servo motors to put the objects in the uh, specified box as per a different color the robot will continue this process if there are any objects in the area if there are no objects then the robot will stay on its initial position 
and if we put an object in there the robot arm uh, will uh, start to work automatically so this is a snapshot of our fully functional automated robotic hand the arm has a 3 degree movement as we implement three joints to the hand the base helps the hand to move left and right and another two joints help to move the hands up and down motion the last servo is for grip of the arm here is a here is the full setup overview of our project the four servos are connected to the arduino and the arduino is connected to the computer and we are using a mobile phone as a camera that is also connected to the computer when we run the code the code gets uploaded to the arduino and it also turns on the mobile phone camera the camera continuously transmits the video footage to the computer in real time when our computer vision model detects any object in the wor uh, working region of the arm it processes the calculation uh, for the exact position and the color of the object after getting the required data to execute sorting the arm picks up the object from its position and bring it to the box that is allocated for that specific colored object and after placing the object to the desired box the arm set itself to its initial position the same process repeats until we end the program now we will see a video demonstration of our project As you have seen the video demonstration, we build the body of our robotic arm from PVC foam board as we had no scope of using 3D printer to make the body out of plastic or metal. We have used lower quality servo motor and still it cost a lot. And after testing our robotic arm for several times, the servo started to show unusual movements and it gives on 60 to on 70 degree rotation instead of on 80 degree rotation. We have used smart 4 camera for the real time video input but if there is an available good quality video input from a fixed position then the precision will improve much more. We have scope to improve the precision of and usability of the robotic arm. We can uh, integrate deep learning uh, model to classify the complex colored and sized objects and for more accuracy we can use a stepper motor instead of using servo motor. Thank you everyone for your time and attention. If you have any questions regarding to our projects feel free to ask.